Hey y'all, it's the Protector of Athletes here. I want to preview this episode for you a little bit because I recorded with my husband on a very important topic, never forget to live. And so that's what you're going to hear um, us discuss in this episode. And I do want to also caution you that you will hear a bunch of noises and sounds from my little son uh, who was around and with us during the time of recording this. Uh, we shot this on my birthday, so I Welcome to What Are You Sporting About podcast, a podcast about business, employment, sports, and entertainment to help educate, support, and guide you to your next level. Here's your host, attorney Savania DeBarros. Detective of athletes and the principal and founding attorney of the SL DeBarros Law Firm. Tonight, somebody is going live with me, Kishta Bolsonaro. Special guest, Eduardo DeBarros. <laughs> A lot of people know it's George, but... George. George. So, tonight... That's right. Rabbit. Rock, Rabbit. rock the brand. Rock the brand. Yeah. So, tonight, um, we're going to talk about something I've been posting all day on my social media pages, in my email newsletters, even in text message to people because this year is just hitting a lot different. So tonight we're talking about nunca esqueces viver, never forget forget to to live, live. never forget to live. Um, So yeah, so I've been discussing this topic with my husband today yes. as we've gone to the birthday brunch and just kind of hung out and then of course came home, um, bibed vino. I'm drinking soda. <laughs> <laughs> the lies he tell. <laughs> but we all, we, we've been talking about 10 toes on the ground. Since we've, you got 10 toes on the ground, that means you up, you alive and you want to continue your life, man. You know? Yeah. No matter what's going through in your life, um, you don't have to wait right. until your life gets better to be happy. That's something right. I've been telling her earlier this uh, week. Mm-hmm. And, right. Uh, let's let's start there. Let's start with okay. that post because um, I, I wasn't even thinking about that when I woke up. Actually, yesterday... When I was typing, you know, sending out messages to folks saying like, hey, you know, I'm going to be giving away free books. Shout out to the brand Athletes Making Moves. If you are an athlete, athlete in business, athlete entrepreneur or entrepreneurs helping and supporting athletes, make sure you go to athletesmakingmoves.com right now. Athletesmakingmoves.com forward slash and get your free book. Use the code BDAY, all caps, so that you can get your book and only pay for the shipping and handling. But shout out, what are you going to say? The books are phenomenal. I mean, come on. I don't even read books. He'll read books that don't have pictures in them, he said. I mean, when I first met her, I was like, I don't really read books that have no pictures. (laughs) And I couldn't put the book down. Every chapter was more interesting and more interesting and gave you an end look into athlete's mind and mindset and also... In regular life, you can put this book into your regular life. It's not just about athletes. That's right. That's, that's the right. main point, but and and you can get to uh No, you're right. Yeah. And shout out to my beautiful cousin Kavana, who's watching live right now. Love you, love you. Thank you so much for your support and your love and your well wishes. Um so prior to yesterday when I was writing these messages around athletes making moves like something that was coming up in my mind and like in my spirit was god i hope i can make it to tomorrow because there's so many people who die before their birthday like hours before days before and they don't get a chance to celebrate that very next day but prior to to that even on yesterday we were talking i cannot remember the conversation and my husband was like yeah, you know, there was this post. Did you see that post from this lady that I shared 
um, he reshared this quote, and the quote was, you know, it, it basically tells you, don't wait until your life get easier to be happy. Right. Life is always going to be hard. Mm -hmm. Especially you're gonna, when you live in this country. You're going to lose people. You're going to have bills. You're going to have taxes. You're going to have, you're going to lose relationships. Life is never going to be easy. Right. But don't let that, you know, make you become a person that sits there and says, you know what, man? Once, man, I can't wait till I pay this. Well, I can't wait till I, I move this. Make yourself happy where you're at right, right. now. And that takes me because when you say right you now. can't wait for life to be easy. Yeah. Uh, the definition of being easy, I feel like yeah. it's also an issue of mindset. Yeah. What What is easy for you what is, yeah. might be, somebody might think it's hard for the next person. Like a lot of people ask me, well, how do you do this? How do you do that? Like, how do you write children's books? How do you end up writing two books for adults and you're representing individuals and you have your home responsibilities and you have your personal responsibilities, your wife responsibilities. Like, how are you doing all of that? And my answer would be, not, it's not necessarily that it's easy, but for me, things things that come with an ease means that I'm working, I'm, I'm using my purpose to help navigate through things that can be considered tough waters or, or very difficult to accomplish. So when we're thinking about, well, let me answer, when we're thinking about things being easy, we also need to check our mindset because a lot of times what we're doing is we was we we psych ourselves out, Joan, five. Okay? We psych ourselves out from actually accomplishing or doing a thing by saying that it's too hard to do it. Right? So even if we think about life and all of the chaos that it throws us, we will say, Oh, I can't do that because I have this particular ailment. But if you stop thinking about or putting that ailment in the forefront of you living, you will have the opportunity to live. Right? Tu tens uma oportunidade de viver. I'll give you an example. Okay? I talked to a co-worker and it was like, uh, oh, I, mean, I, I told him, you know, it's a vacation coming up. Um, they're like, well, where are you going? I said, I said, I'm going to Greece, I'm going to Portugal. Oh, but don't you know there's a war going on? I said, listen, I can't worry about that. I got to live my life, man. See? <laughs> you See. You keep sitting around waiting to get better. It's not going to get better. It's always going to be hard. It's right. always going to be something going on. Right. But if that's something that you want to do, you have to do it. Right. Do it now. And believe in it. And do that's it now. It. Right. So you guys can look at the war that is happening now. This isn't the first war that has ever happened. Nope. Right. Um, there have been terrorist attacks in this country during times where we were, have been old enough to live them. Some people have actually survived them. Think about the runners in Boston, people yep. that were injured. Good there are people point. that were yep. that died and were injured in New York when the, tr the, the t uh, Twin Towers oh, were taken down. Yeah. I remember being in high school in my classroom watching this on the TV, seeing all of this chaos that was, you know, that was happening live. Yeah. Um, and people still find a way to bounce back. I mean, think about, this is what gives me um, power to move forward in my life is when I think about my ancestors and when I think about the family that I, I've had the pleasure to be under their tutelage and um, be a beneficiary of their love and their support. When I think of all of the hard things that they've had to go through, some things that have been spoken, some things unspoken, but knowing that starting from them moving backwards to their parents, their grandparents and great grandparents and all of that, our people had to get through something rough and that didn't keep them from living. They still had something to look forward to. They still had a purpose that was on the inside of them to move them forward in life, to leave something, to create something for future generations. And so 
that's why we wanted to talk to you guys today, Juan, talk to you guys today about these conversations we're having in our house because this these are things we talk about all the time, yeah. right? We talk about this all the time. Nunca just get siege vive. Never forget to live. And it reminds me of one of yeah. our aunts. What are you gonna say? Um, just before we mm -hmm. talk, talk about go to that. one of the aunts, I just had a story a little bit. Um I was in eighth grade, I remember, and I remember we used to um uh, we was in I think science class or whatever. I'll be right but back. It was a shuttle. A uh, space shuttle that went up and it blew up. And people asked, you know, would you get in the shuttle again? I said, yeah. If that's what you want to do, you're going to jump in that shuttle and you're going to do it. You can't wait. You can't sit there and be like, well, something happened bad to someone else. Nope. So I'm not going to do it anymore. Right. You're going to take precautions. No, I can't. You might take a different route. Or root, mm -hmm. and depending on what you right. want to say, but you're gonna keep doing what you want to do. Don't right. worry about what's Over going here? on in life, man, because um, that that's, that's life, man. Right. And then we go into my lovely aunt, um, Dear Dear Betty. Betty. Oh, amazing woman. I mean. Um, I went there in uh, 2001, and then I went there in 2016, 2018. No, not 2006. Did we go? Oh, we did go because we didn't have JoJo. Then 2018 yeah. and 2019 before her passing. Yep, October. But she was going through something, and she never let it show. Never complained. Never let it show. Never not not even a little bit yeah not even a little bit and of course now when you look at it and you see what she was going through you can't believe it but she didn't care for her own well-being meaning like she wanted she to cared make about sure her, yeah, yeah she cared she, about, she cared her about what she yeah she but cared. It, the ailments that she was experiencing, right. she didn't over, she if, didn't allow it to overshadow. If someone is coming to see you, someone is, you have to, listen, it's not about being fake, okay? You know, a lot of people say, oh, well, well, that's being fake, man, because you, you, you ill and you're not feeling well. No, that's trying to make someone feel more comfortable and welcome. around you. Right. And okay. it's part of that's what it is. It's but it's also part of living life, right? Because yeah, here's the thing: yeah. what you what you emphasize is what you magnetize. Um, what you emphasize is what you allow to take more precedence in your life. It provide it, you give it more presence. You feed into that thing that you put in the forefront. So if I'm sick. But people who I haven't seen in however many years come and see me, am I going to allow this ailment, this sickness now to take precedence over the fact that I have a moment to live a way to experience certain emotions, to experience people that I haven't had an opportunity in years to experience. And a lot of times folks, they don't need, I don't think they even recognize that they do that, but you stop yourself from being able to live. I mean, the, the simple things in life. You know, I think about NDRE um, and one of her songs. Um, I'm kind of drawing a, a blank on the name of the song, but um, she talks about being in another country and talking to this blind man. And this blind man is saying, you know, it's not hard for me because the things that y'all take for granted, I see beauty in it. Like, even though I can't see, yeah. I am living. I'm living my life. And so we have to stop feeding life into things that are only killing us. Things that are keeping us so stuck in, in a place where we cannot actually live. Like, a lot of people are walking around. You may be, you may be living, but you a dead man walking. Mm -hmm. That's what that means. You a dead man walking because... You have, you have not tapped into your purpose. You have not started to even do the things that you said that you want to achieve. You can't even be happy with yourself because you have given so much life to bullcrap 
right? That it prevents you from actually living the way that you want to live, the way that you desire to live, the way that the Almighty would want you and said that you should live. Like God said that all of his people should be prosperous. But a lot of us are keeping ourselves from the blessings that he had for us because we are giving too much credence to things that don't even make sense. Things that don't even matter at the end of the day. And that's why I appreciate the relationship that we have or had with Tia Betty because her spirit was exactly that. No matter what is going on with me, it's not that I'm ignoring how I'm feeling in this moment, but it's the fact that I want to provide and give more credence to the love that is in the room, the people that I haven't seen in forever, new relationships that I'm creating. I mean, she saw our kid twice and she lives in another country. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean like, that's amazing. Yeah, that's the thing is like when, like I feed off of her. Like she taught me yeah. so many things. And you know, that was very important for me to for her to see my well, son, see. you know, because she's seen us together, yeah. but she did, didn't see Jojo when he was born. Twice. And, you know, we was able to go out there and see her because I thought it was important because people that are influential yeah. in your life, yeah. you want to show them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the ones... When you look at pictures, when they're gone and they're not here anymore, that you can sit back and say, man. Yeah. She was able to, they was really able to, impact. you know, interact yeah. and see each other. If you see those pictures, I mean, because you wasn't there. Twice. You know so we saw her, we saw her three times. A lot of people yeah. wasn't there. But if you see the pictures between mm -hmm. Jojo and Thea oh my God. facing Jojo each other. And and you can see the energy and you can see the proudness in her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can see that she was looking at him and he was looking at her. Yeah. And you can see how proud they was, it was looking at each it was other. Beautiful. It was just powerful, man. And, and here's the thing, too, because the last few days, even today, it was the last day of my legacy workshop. But I was teaching it. I need to Okay. What's up with the season dish? Um, gotta say, okay? What the what? I've been got um, I was teaching business owners about legacy. And the first day, what we were talking about is, is who do you want to be? What do you want to be? Right? Have you even started to do the things that you've said that you wanted to do? But most importantly, how do you wish people remember you? Because to to accomplish those first things, the only way that we can start to create a legacy is to make sure that we absolutely know without a shadow of a doubt, who we are, what we want to achieve, and have started to achieve that. And I think about Tia Betty when I think about legacy, yeah. right? Um, she's someone who has had an immense impact into my life. And like you said, influential. She's a, a very yeah. influential person. Because when I think about things that may get me a little flustered or aggravated, I think about her at every moment that we met her. We, we've seen her before we had Juan. Then we saw her again when he was six months. She was the yeah. very first person that we took him to see. And then she saw him again at, what, three years old? Was that 2019? He was three yeah, or two? Two and a half. Two. Maybe two and a half in 2019. Um, and every moment, it was beautiful. And the very last time that we saw her, we thought we were going to be seeing her in a hospital just so happened she had already been released and was home and we walked in her room i never forget this this night but she's laying in the bed tubes in her nose and i i, I hit that threshold of her bedroom and she says vorni vorni oh my deus vorni so my, my family if you know you're my family or close friend you know my nickname is vonnie yeah. Um, but that's how she said my name and I went over and I hugged and I just sat in the bed and at that moment it's just me and her just talking and really enjoying each other's company and then Joan comes in, George comes in and there's this photo of us with her and Joan was just like jumping all in the bed. I'm like, Tia, is this okay? Because I know you got a lot going on yeah, over here. Right. But 
she was she wanted that and what she was going through at that moment did not stop her from living guys that is what i'm saying that is the that's the conversation for today and and when it comes to tia betty that's the legacy that i'm taking from her is she never forgot to live the moments she never forgot to live love she never forgot to live you know what i'm saying peace she never forgot to live how many people how no 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 porque mama está falando no tú está drunk all the day see porque mama in the telephone they call mama. Jojo's trying to shut me up. <laughs> I guess he said it's too much. But how many people out there do you know? And this could even be yourself, right? What are the things that are taking peace out of your house? Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have peace, you ain't going to have nothing. And you can't live without peace. I'm just telling you the truth. But when you get this thing called peace, you are empowered to live to live you are empowered to stop breathing life into things that don't matter that life's get hot in you know how peace is i like to sleep in my own bed <laughs> okay <laughs> couch is not comfortable couch is not peace Peace is sleeping in your own bed. So listen, what, what I'm trying to say. He act like I put him in a doghouse on a record. No, 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 I'm not saying that. <laughs> but, like, someone, someone told me one time, was like, man, he was like, man, you know, what, you know, uh, what if you was in another country yeah. and you met someone else and you end up, you know, hooking up with them? I said, I said, you know what, man? I like all my clothes in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> not on the lawn. Not on the lawn. Not ran over. <laughs> not burnt up. Not burnt up. Not cut up. Okay. Not <laughs> <laughs> I like my clothes exactly where it's supposed to be on the hanger oh, in my God. closet. So make sure that when you make those decisions in life, you make those decisions right. And um George is a nut, y'all. Y'all yeah. y'all have to um <laughs> I just, could probably just, just ignore him because I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I told you don't put me on here. Jesus Christ. He did say that. He did, I, I did, a, I did. a disclaimer, so I'll just take what I can get. But yeah. But I understand where she's coming from because you know, um You know, somebody asked me not too long ago, what you gonna do? What you gonna do in Portugal for three months? <laughs> I'm gonna live. What you gonna do? I'm living. Like I'm not going to. So in the same vein, uh, what George shared earlier about this lady saying you can't wait for things to get better to start living, which is true. Or I'm, I'm sorry to be happy. So for me, um, here we go. I can't wait to want to have the life. Like this imaginary life for myself, I can't wait to have the that life to actually start living and doing the things that I want. Yeah. So you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna live that life like I have it right now and build everything else around it. Yes. Yeah. Mommy's too loud. Okay, Jojo's telling me to be quiet. Mommy's too loud. Mommy's too loud. Let me tell you. So, let me tell you excited. something about being a couple. <laughs> let me tell you something about being a couple and being in a relationship. Let them dream and make them dreams happen. I know that's right. Okay. Okay. So sometimes, sometimes you have to put your own life <clears throat> to the side and let someone no, else don't. happiness. No, no, wait, bro. To the side. I'm not saying. No, you don't. No, no. No, no. Uh, here comes the first argument. Here goes the escalation. Here comes the first argument. On national TV. <laughs> here comes the first argument. Sometimes 
You have to put your happiness to the side to let other people have their happiness. Doesn't mean that you're not going to have your happiness later. Sometimes you got to put it to the side, though. I don't, I don't know about that. Come on. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. But maybe you're saying it in a different way, but I don't. So here's the thing. Like, I would never tell my husband to not do what he want to do if, as long as. I ain't talking about, ain't talking about no that. cause. Okay, I'm sir. But am I putting it to the side? But that's that's no, something no. that what could I'm have saying, a direct no. impact. This is this right. This is so. I told you don't put so, me on here. So here's here. the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. What George is trying to say is, I'm, I'm a dreamer. He knows this. He knew this when we met. When we started dating he knew that I was a dreamer when he asked me what my dreams and aspirations were and I told him and I stuck to that what I appreciate about my husband is that he's not a jealous person he's not a competitive person in the sense of oh you can't do this because I don't have that or we got to do whatever like he's not that person so he's done whatever he could do to support me in my dreams to help me achieve those things and even with living abroad because we've traveled so many places and, and I just hope to God that he grants me way more years to continue seeing this world yeah. but um, I, I had the the uh, dream of wanting to to live abroad for years now and it started out with me living there for maybe two weeks y'all maybe a month and this thing has blossomed to the point that like, if I could go right now for a year I would but it's just too too many things like logistics that I have I would have to do to do that so I said okay cool 90 days would be good we can still travel around and do different things and so also give me the opportunity to aprender lengua. Love um, to make my wife happy. See, and I love to be happy. <laughs> um, but this will give me an opportunity to also work on my language skills my uh, in Portuguese in a Portuguese speaking community. And you guys know that we have raised strong to technically be bilingual but there's no one here that speaks Portuguese on a regular basis. So I want him to be in that in that environment. No, no, I say you definitely have taught him uh, way uh, more Portuguese than I could have. I got him. Um, and so I do appreciate that my husband recognized the fact that I'm a dreamer and have helped support me in that sense. But I also feel like you're a dreamer too. Yeah. Although they're not like entrepreneurial things that you right, may right, want right. to do. Yeah, there are yeah. dreams that we both have that align. Like for instance, traveling. We want to see as much as this, of this world as we can. We want to create a real legacy and teach our child how to maintain that, that legacy. We want to ensure that we have wealth that right. understands how to build create and maintain as and, well and i'm not trying to say that your dreams are more important than my dreams but i think your dreams are, are i don't know how to say better than my dreams maybe um i meaning don't think that, it's meaning that that he will experience more things with your dreams than my dreams if you understand what i'm saying um i kind of get yeah, I kind of get. But I'm trying to. I'm trying to I, I kind of get, get what you're saying. I think because my dreams, a lot of my dreams, lie within an entrepreneurial um, aspect. Right. Achieving those things and being successful at them will create a foundational um, track for your own. Right. I think that's right. where you're going. Yeah. However, it doesn't mean that my dreams are more important than yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I do love the fact that. Although we dream together and we have 
separate things that we want to do, they are all still in alignment. But I never want people to stop because this is the subject of tonight. Yeah. Like, never forget to live. Don't stop living because yeah. your spouse has a dream right. that may not necessarily be your dream. But also understand what is the time limit on us achieving our dreams. Like, what are the the tools or the resources that we need to accomplish those dreams? Is it something that we can absolutely do together? Do I need to like when? Okay, you're talking about my dreams might be more important, but it's like my dreams are more entrepreneurial. Yeah. So, what dreams make sense to go after first? I guess right. that might that's, be that's, might be. Yeah. The thing, that's, right? So, you know what? That's, that's if, a good point. if that's we're gonna good. put resources in your dream first, then right. I'm going point. to work on what I can work on, but anything that costs a lot more, let's just table that for now so we can get this going and then we pull that in. I right. feel like that's more of a relationship type sacrifice of, um, you know, really, really figuring out what works what works for you but i would i i would tread very lightly in telling other people like hey your dreams don't matter or you shouldn't go after your dreams because the other person wants their dreams it really depends on the relationship the person you know I, I just, um, like let me just come in yeah, yeah. i just think that my dreams are um more materialistic than not materialistic but, but more reachable when i say reachable yeah yours meaning, is very reachable <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's very reachable it, it doesn't take that much yeah but your dreams your dreams i'm sorry yeah your dreams taste a lot it of effort between effort time. a relationship yeah and jojo going out there with you and yeah. You being out there for three months, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It takes a little bit more than my it dreams. Does. So I have no problem sitting back and saying, you know what? This dream is more important. This makes more sense. And more sense yeah. than mine. Because, because because you know why? Because our, our group dream yeah. is what we're looking at as the end right. goal. And right. that, that involves right. drama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the most important thing is him. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, guys, I mean, I don't want to hold you all all night, but this was something that has been on my mind a lot. Um, I do want to remind you to really and truly wholeheartedly think about whether you're living or not. Yeah. And if you're not, what's holding you back? Because we have to first take responsibility and take account of our own actions and sometimes that's also our our mindset. Dude, we just went through two bad, terrible years, but at the same time, we've been we've gotten better. Yeah. I mean, just think about that. With all this pandemic, people is love passing away. People's like people people's passed away. Things have changed. People has lost jobs, but but we have found new ways to live. to live. We have found new ways to connect with people. Yeah. We have connect with people because what are you doing? You ain't sit, you ain't doing nothing but sitting at home. At this point, yeah. You know, two years ago, everybody was sitting at home. Mm -hmm. So you was able to connect with everybody. Right. So let's continue it. Let this pandemic Be teach us teach us a lesson man. And, and let this pandemic teach yeah let lesson, it man. let it allow it to teach you a lesson but a, let it show you that there is no more time to waste no. whatever you say you, you want that. to do now <laughs> is the time to do this thing right we don't know I, and I, I'm, I'm being so real when I say I was so nervous when I started when I was writing that post yesterday and I'm like oh my god I'm saying okay tomorrow's my birthday but I don't even know if I'm going to see you tomorrow and, because when, like, I saw, I, I, when I saw that, I was like, that was kind of, I was like. Okay. He was like, whoa, babe, that's kind of, that's a lot. <laughs> but that's kind of how I be looking too. I be like, Lord, uh, thank you for waking me up. I yes. I can make it. Because you, you always see people, oh, they, they, they wake yeah. up. No, they don't wake up. Right, right. Oh and there's a lot of people that, that 
literally die in their sleep. Yes. There are people that yeah. get in freak accidents. Yep. Right? And you think to yourself, how in the world did this happen? Yeah. I mean, you can you can pretty much tell sometimes if people are extremely sick that something may be coming down the pipeline. You never want to really accept it even when it happens. But when there's a freak accident or someone don't wake up or someone just fall dead. Like there was this kid when I was in college. There was this football player in the weight room in the athletic facility. I cannot remember his name. This dude died. He just dropped somebody who who is has the best physical physic. I don't even know how to say it. like phys physique. Right. Um, health, everything. Like this dude just dropped dead, y'all. A young college athlete. This was years ago. But still, people are still dropping dead. Like, there are more young people dying than older people. This is not the time to, to stop doing what it is that you say you want to do. Like, folks are going to keep dying. There have been amazing people who I love that have died during these pandemic years. And I tell you one thing. Not only do I want to let myself down, I don't want to let them down. Because if they were here, they would still choose an opportunity to live. And that's what I want you to understand. We have, a, we have two opportunities. Yay! We have an opportunity to live, or we have an opportunity to die. And there are a lot of people walking around who are dead men walking. Okay, so do you, want, do you want to walk around here dead without purpose, without moving, without doing anything? Or do you want to choose an opportunity to live? That's on you. Start living and stop dying. Right. Okay. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going to preach over it. Start. St <laughs> <laughs> with, with the wine. <laughs> start living and stop dying. Because that's what a lot of people just sit there and just, oh man, when you appreciate every, appreciate time every moment. You wake up and appreciate. Yeah. I pray and I just, that's just me, man. That's yeah. me. I, I just, yeah. I don't know. For me, it's oh, like. It's a, it's a, it's like a light switch that goes off when you recognize a lot of us take waking up for granted, but for me, it's, it's knowing that there's a possibility that I, I might not wake up. And so with every moment that I'm awake, I need to move purposefully. I need to, to really make sure that what I do on a day-to-day -day basis has impact that, um, what I do will help other people to also live within their purpose to make really make moves in their own lives as well y'all like that's what it's about that's really really what it's about um i'm serious when i say our life is not our own we don't we don't own our life we don't own our life if that was the fact we we would be the ones to to say when the end date is we would be the ones to set that but we can't so we have to make sure that um we are doing all that we can with the gift of life that has been granted to us while we have the opportunity to do so. It's more important to give than to receive. Absolutely. To this against my people. Amor. Um, love you. All right, y'all. Thank you for hanging out with us. Muito obrigado por ter deixado o mensagem. Nu, nunca esquecer de viver. Never forget to live. Thank you guys for hanging in here with us. And I hope that this message tonight has really helped you to live. Yeah, man. Live. Really live. Live. <laughs> live. João, diz live. 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 Diz live. Fala de eles. Live. Tu queres dizer? Vamos. Ok. He don't, he don't want to talk now. Mama was too loud before. Now he don't want to say nothing, child. Y'all know how it go with these toddlers. Hey, live. 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 This is something. I, I'm, oh, my gosh. And if, um, if pe and listen, if, if people that you thought that is not in your life right now, don't worry don't about, about it. Don't worry about it. Everything happens for a reason. I believe Those that. people are chosen to be in your life at that time. Right. Now you must move on. Mm -hmm. And take the lessons. Don't forget to see the lesson in everything, too. Even in, 
and failed relationships, broken relationships, yeah. opportunities that you thought may have been lost, um, things that you may have felt haven't gone your way. If, if you can remove the negative effect that you have on them and you can look back over those things, what are the lessons that you can take from that? Because I'm telling y'all, every single thing is based around perspective. It is a mindset shift. And when you can pull those lessons out of those things, it will help you to be and do better. And it will help you live. It will help you not also make the same mistakes that you possibly made in the past. Everything has a lesson attached to it. Let me tell you, people repeat history because they fail to go and learn history. They fail to recognize what happened in the past to inform their future. So the way that you are able to live, there are things that you feel like are are holding you down well now what do i need what are those things that are holding me down and what can i look at to inform me on whether this is something i just have not learned yet and i'm constantly repeating this situation or i need to really make a mindset shift and like george said yes ask yourself what am i sporting about because we are all athletes in this life in the game of life we're all athletes in the game of life we are all sporting about something, but some people have actually forgot to lace up their cleats and get to the starting blocks. We are all sporting about something. Are you going to wait? Kish the problem. Okay. Are you, what is, uh, because he's sitting here looking at me crazy. Like, are you going to sit and wait? Because a lot of y'all over here on the sidelines, looking at your opponents, lacing up, they stretching, they getting in their blocks, and as soon as, you know, the gun is blown, they're running their race. They accomplishing their dreams. They're finishing some things. They're taking off their boxes. They are living. But you are a spectator looking at everybody else living. You, you over there mad at yourself saying, well, why I ain't got that? Why I can't do this? Because you forgot to go and lace up. You forgot to actually start living. Stop making excuses. Stop making excuses and understand what it is that you're sporting about. What not? You, hey, you lazy because you want to be lazy. <laughs> George, just George is crazy. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight on my birthday conversation with y'all. <laughs> Never forget to live. Yes. Ciao. Thanks for joining us this week on What Are You Sporting About? podcast. Make sure to visit our website, prosportlawyer.com, where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, or whatever your favorite platform is so you'll never miss a show. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate a rating on iTunes or iHeartRadio. Or if you'd simply tell a friend about the show, that would help us out too. If you like the show, you might want to check out our book, What Are You Sporting About? Attorney Savania DeBarros is available for private consulting at S ldebarros.com. And remember, we're here to educate, support, and guide you in your journey to success because we're all sporting about something.